Welcome to our video on Human Evolution, Part 1. Now, you probably know, children, that modern humans belong to the species what? Yes, we modern humans belong to the species Homo sapiens, right? But what is our place in nature? How are our species classified? Let's take a look at what scientists say. Let's take a look at where they say we fit in to this whole story. Right, what you see in front of you is a scientific classification, which you have studied in grade 11. Now in grade 11, you have learned about the father of taxonomy, Carolus Linnaeus, and his system of classification right and you were introduced to the different kingdoms such as animalia and plantae so this is now going to be our starting point humans belong to the kingdom animalia or plantae yes we are not plants we belong to the kingdom animalia and this animalia kingdom is divided into two groups the invertebrates and the vertebrates. When we speak about invertebrates, we are talking about those organisms that do not have a backbone. They do not have a vertebral column. And those that do have a vertebral column or a backbone, we refer to them as the vertebrates. Now the vertebrates themselves can be divided into five classes. The fish, amphibians, birds, reptiles and mammals so one of the orders under mammals is the order primates so we're going to expand on this particular order why because this is where we belong under the order of primates we have the suborders prosomy and anthropoidea under the suborder prosomy we have the lemurs and the tarsiers, but that's not where we belong. So we're going to ignore that. So where do we belong? We belong in the suborder Anthropodia. Under this suborder, we have the Hylobatidae, we have the Pongidae, and we have the family Hominidae. So under the family Hylobatidae, we have the Gibbons. Right? Under the family Pongidae, we have the gorilla, we have the orangutan, as well as the chimpanzees. And then we have the hominidae. So under the hominidae family, that is where we belong. Right? So to recap, where do we belong? Let's take a look at the classification of humans again. We belong to the kingdom animalia. Why? Because we are multicellular organisms. Our cells have a nucleus. It has cell membranes, right? But it doesn't have any cell walls like a plant cell does. We belong to the phylum chordata, meaning we are animals with a spinal cord or with a vertebral column. We belong to the class mammalia. Why? Because we are warm-blooded caudates, we give birth to live young. Females have mammary glands that are able to secrete milk to nourish their young. The order we belong to are primates. Why? Because we are mammals with a collarbone. Our eyes face forward. We have hands that grasp with fingers. And we have two types of teeth, the incisors and the molars. We belong to the hominidae family. Why? Because we are primates with upright posture, large brain, stereoscopic vision, flat face and different uses for our hands and feet. The genus we belong to is Homo. Why? Because we are hominids with an S-curved spine which makes us recognizable as a human. 
And finally, the species we belong to are Homo sapiens or sapiens. Humans with a high forehead, well-developed chin, thin skull bones. And that is the classification of humans. So many of you may ask the question, could the chimp then be our ancestor? No, children. Evolution is not saying that. Evolution is saying that the chimp and the human share common ancestry. We are on the same line of development, but different branches. What you see in front of you is a phylogenetic tree. What is a phylogenetic tree? It is a diagram, children. What is it? It's a diagram that is representing something. It represents the evolutionary relationships among the organisms. Now you'll notice that there's a pattern of branching in a phylogenetic tree. And this pattern of branching reflects how species or other groups have evolved from a common ancestor. Now reading a phylogenetic tree is very similar to understanding a family tree. Okay, now the root, right, the root of the tree represents the ancestor while the tips, can you see the tips of the branches? The tips of the branches actually represent the descendants of that ancestor. And as you move from the root of the tree to its tips, you are moving forward in time. Can you see? When you see branching occurring in the tree like this, that will represent speciation occurring, right? A single ancestral lineage is giving rise to two or more daughter lineages, right? Now each lineage has a part of its history that is unique, right? and parts that are shared with other lineages. So this phylogenetic tree is showing us the evolutionary path of humans as well as other primates. Right, here we have the early Prosimonians or the common ancestor of all the primates. And from there, all these different organisms have developed. Notice, here we are here, the humans and along that line are the chimpanzees. Now notice, we did not come from the branch of chimps, right? If we developed from the line of chimps, it means that our line had to come from the small red line, right? Like this. But it doesn't do that, showing you that we have our own developmental line. But we are on that same line. Here's our common ancestor somewhere there, right? And you will find that the chimps are on one line while we are on another developmental line, okay? That's what we are saying. So. Are we more closely related then to the chimpanzee or to the old world monkeys? Obviously, we are going to be closer to the chimpanzees. Whereas this branch divided a long time ago, they are a separate branch altogether. And we will be closer to the chimpanzee than to the gorilla, than to the orangutan and the gibbon as well. Although we are all on the same line of development, our branch is closer to that of the chimpanzee than the others. So this is how you read this particular phylogenetic tree. You look at the closest in terms of the line. So if we look at the order primates, it includes this super family here called the hominodae. Hominodae, right? And this superfamily is divided into two families, namely the Hominidae 
and the Hilo Beta Day, the family Homina Day, is divided into two subfamilies, the Hominine and the Ponginae. So the human, the chimpanzee, and the gorilla all belong to the family Hominine. And the orangutan is part of the Ponginae family. The Hylobatidae includes the gibbons.